got quite a bit of wood over here. Let's go back and get in a safe, warm van. Snow. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's coming down pretty good. So one of the new items I'm going to be testing out is this Olight Javelet Pro 2. So this is supposed to be really bright. Uh, you can see like over a thousand yards or something like that. So it has its own case. And then I got this new Seeker 3 Pro because I lost my Phoenix TK16. So this is like 4,200 lumens. So that should be fun for walking around in the woods. And then I got this new, uh, I think it's called Warm Bond fire pit so we're gonna cook and have a fire in there there's a lot of items inside of there i'll show you when i get there i got a new power station it's called a pecron e3000 this thing has like 3100 watt hours in this little tiny thing so let's get out there and do some uh, winter camping tober's camping audience you remember me Joel Candy here. Did you miss me? Don't worry. Daddy's here. Shh. They're there. guys here's this new warm bond fire pit thing that was sent to me so at the bottom they have this tray which obviously catches the ashes it's got two little handles put that in there it's got another one where you put the starter ring and this is where obviously you put the wood on top of it and then I think you put this next it does have like a temperature gauge which is kind of cool and you take the grill part put that on then you can get this glass so you can see the fire i guess or see your burgers or whatever and then you can obviously put this on top if you're grilling otherwise you can just have a fire like this you get these two handle things i think you just put them in this groove here on both sides it's hot to help you take it off i think this is a wood poker so you can kind of poke the wood and stuff inside and you get this hot glove which uh, i actually really like this one i have another one but this one's even nicer and they sent me this like utensils thing it's got a velcro on there and Got your uh, poker and uh, your tongs. And you want to cook some brats or uh, some marshmallows or something. They got like four of those pokers in there. These are their starter rings they sent with it. You can obviously get more. As you can see, Joel is here. So let's go check out Joel's setup. Got our bathroom. So it's the first time seeing Joel's uh, new tent. He set it up by himself. You can see him right there. So let's check it out. Let's see how well he did here. Oh, dude, it looks cold. Bro, it's so warm in there. I know. I oh, my gosh. I didn't realize you had your Mr. Buddy heater going. Yeah, dude. Wow, it's really warm in here, guys. One person that's going to work, right? This is I nice. On that's on low, dude. Bro, it's so warm in there. It's like a sauna. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So, yeah, he doesn't have it stretched out or anything. No, but, I mean, it's plenty for one person. It's in there. my first time setting it up, and I, I, I was, like, scared. I was like, oh, my God, the snow's coming, and it's... Cool dude right that's now. gonna be so fun to be in that while it's snowing and i got tons of lights i have yeah. really bright lights dude this is sweet dude but look at look what i got you got Remember a this oh you got your I is that the, the really warm sleeping bag negative 35 sleeping yeah bag. Yep. that thing's a beast you know he's got some firewood he says he's got four bundles of firewood four so he'll be using firewood. those do you have a carbon monoxide detector in there i do yeah not okay. now but i do i'm gonna put, put it in, in there right dude here. I'm actually, I might vent the other side too. Joel's just gonna back over here and make it a little bit easier with the firewood. And I guess he's got some other stuff, so here he comes. That's pretty spacious. Yeah, not bad. Cool. I mean, you could take the top off, but for cooking, obviously you want that on there. Yeah. 
And like it should get a really good burn too, because the way they do it, they have like holes underneath. Yeah. And then it, like the air really circulates well in there. These are natural. I don't know, guys. Things. This is it. Looks like it's gonna work, but it's not lighting as easy as it should. I think it's like a little moist. I don't know how it got moist, but because I can see the smoke keeps going out. Burn it. Here we go. Yeah, that lit up how it's supposed to. Open it up. Whoop. So we put the top and everything on there probably too early, so it didn't get enough oxygen for the wood to actually get going. So this time we're going to uh, give it a second to get going here. Got my little fan. We'll give this a shot. By the way, I highly recommend this fan in the summer. This thing is amazing. It'll run all night. Look at that. Yep. It's going. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Joel's got a chair. Thank God. Yeah. Times have changed. <laughs> Times have changed. Right. Joel's I got, got Joel's now, got dude. his own stuff. I'm not the sun your lap anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Ooh, that's hot. White It's cranked up, bro. What does that say? 600? Oh my god. Bro, does it say six? Bro, it says 900. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to put that much wood on there. I think we put way too, too much, much wood on there, dude. What are we going to do? It's uh, 950 almost? 950? <laughs> Who cooks at 950, bro? I do, bro. All right. Your well, you cooked in a minute. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we probably want it to diminish a little bit, bro, because I want to do like four minutes a side. Yeah, take the pan off. I think it's going to be so hot. Yeah, we're way up, like over a 1,000. It's probably going to break. I'm going to back up a little bit. We got our glove on here. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> Light on fire. Oh, dude, <laughs> oh yeah. Take, take take that. Oh, it's going to melt. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it go down so fast. Oh the temperature. Work. Yeah, take that off. <laughs> oh, it's going right through the snow. Oh, that's a little hot, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. Instantly boiling water. That's sick. Oh, yeah. We put way too much wood in yeah. there, guys. We're used to having a fire. We didn't really think it out, obviously. but Let's Just let it go down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let it go down. It looks like it's burning it really well. It's doing its job. This is mine. This is my steak. And this is Matt's steak. Tenderize it a little bit. <clears throat> There we go. Olive oil. Ooh. A little salt on that mother. I think it's gonna cook a lot faster than, yeah, look at it. It's gotta be that bubble gum pink, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bubblegum pink. <laughs> well, we definitely used uh, probably too much wood on here, so it's super, super hot, like 1,000 plus degrees. So, oh, it's on fire, bro. Let those rest. Oh, yeah, that's, those are going to be done, dude. That shit is charred like a mother. Let it rest for a while. Oh, this is so dangerous. What are you doing? Yeah. That's how I cook, bro. Yeah, the temperature is so hot that the olive oil combustor. That's not optimal. It took four minutes total, two minutes on four each side. Four minutes total, dude. Just let them it's rest. so though. hot. Are you getting something or slim? You could get like a parasite and stuff. I'm good. You're good for the parasites? Yeah. You don't want no parasites, dude? Moment of truth. What does the cross section look like? Okay. Let's see what we got. Perfectly done. Hooked all the way through. That's sure. what you want to see. Absolutely. You want it to be a little pink like that. Totally safe to eat, dude. Let me try it now. Now, it's more charred than I like, but it's medium rare. What if the inside was just cold? It's not. It's excellent. You want to try some? It's excellent. It's rare, but I like it like that. Outside is less rare. This one looks pretty good. Pretty good? Mm, 
Oh, that was good. Well, Joel cooked the steaks, and uh, like I said, the temperature was just way too hot. Now it's down in the like six or seven hundreds, which would have been better. It was like a thousand degrees. So, learning lesson: cracking open a Celsius. I'm gonna grab one. So, I uh, plan to stay up pretty late tonight and uh, try out these new flashlights and see uh, what we can see tonight. So, snow should be here anytime. I don't feel it yet, dude, but I'm I'm ready. I don't mind it. Kind of rare like that. I'll eat it like that. Um but I didn't eat much of the rare stuff. I don't really want to get parasites, but if I get a parasite, I can go to the doctor and get it killed. Thanks. Well, since I didn't eat much of that steak, I'm gonna eat this chicken bacon sandwich, have a little Celsius, chill around this fire for a bit with Joel. Yeah. We could probably take that off if we want to, if we're just gonna. Sure. Might as well uh, get the fire bigger. Those things take it off? It's hot, dude. Bro, it's, there's so much heat coming out of there. <laughs> Careful. It's all isolated. Get that longer thing. Whoa, buddy. Oh, my God. Well, so much for that glass, something? guys. Got a broom. How heavy are you? You just stepped out and exploded, dude. You gotta stop working out. That's <laughs> so random. I see the glass break. I'm like, what is happening, bro? Well, unfortunately, that glass piece I had right here, and I hit it with my foot because it obviously blended in. I want to take this off here. So the glass thing is uh, no longer alive, but I think we got most of it. And then we're going to probably take the shovel. I don't see any pieces. We're going to take the shovel and just kind of clean up this area. So over to the fire tower and I'll fly my drone. Sure. Something's definitely going to be coming to eat this tonight. It doesn't look as red on the phone. In person, it's redder. It looks darker on my phone than it is in person. But Chicken and bacon sandwich. Try this out. I think we're going to try to go to the fire tower. And Jill's going to fly his uh, super fast drone. So that should be cool. Doesn't taste the best, to be honest with you. It's got a weird flavor. Looks like it needs to be warmed up. But oh well. On our way to the tower, fire tower. I have to stay in one of these cabins sometime. Those are really small. It looks like they got electricity. Yep. yep. That's sick. Here's the garbage right here. We could throw away some garbage. Oh, yeah. Here. Got a parking lot over here, two people. I'm going to attempt to fly this in a little bit after Joel does. Sweet. Now we can sit back inside there. Look at that beautiful shot right there. Oh, that's sweet. Somebody's up there, they're just like, what? Is that the tower we climbed before? Yeah, this is the one that oh, yeah. I think what Rob was afraid of. Yeah, this, it's really went, high when you're up there. It's it's up there, dude. And they have bars so people don't like commit suicide. That angle looks so weird. It looks like facial hair or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's starting to get lower. Looks like the fire is still bare, barely going. We're gonna probably throw some more logs on that bad boy. I'm gonna take a stroll over to that garbage over here and uh, throw away all this broken glass. Might as well get rid of it. Should start snowing here pretty soon. Got these cool, we got they went four cabins over here. Probably try one of these out one of these days. That's what I was trying to do. Ooh, look at that. What? There's mold on it. That's what you're smelling, I think. Oh, yeah. Because maybe it was in the back here. Yeah. There is mold on it. Yeah. It guys, there's mold on these wood. I wouldn't be breathing it in. I wonder what I've been breathing in. Look at that. Look that mold. mold. Ugh. Ugh. I'm like, what does that taste? You're tasting burnt mold, dude. Heck. I want to melt my fan. Up those mold spores. You can see those holes around the sides right there. The airflow is obviously going through there and getting a real nice burn on these logs. Joel's about to try to put up a tarp here. Whoa, look at that. Watch out for the mud, buddy. We set up a tarp because we got some snow coming. So we're going to actually probably shovel a little bit here, try to move the fire more in the middle and try to get set up under here. It's not a massive tarp, but... We didn't have any trees over there or over here, so it's not like super high tarp, but we do what we could. Nice. Am I in the middle or this way? Well, we'll find out how your tarp does. Just get ready to get out of there. Warm, but it's not. 
Not high enough Dude, I can feel the heat. While we're under this tarp thing, I can tell the heat's kind of obviously going there and then kind of radiating out. So it's keeping it in here more. Yeah, keeping the heat in here a little bit more. Look at that beautiful fire. Ooh, so much heat coming off that. You know what's weird? What are these like little hair things on there? That's weird. Maybe it's the paint. There's something burning off. You see those little like hairs? We're gonna have a full production out here. <laughs> Full production lighting here. Oh yeah, there we go. We got to start cooking here, guys, because uh, the snow is coming. So we don't really have this underneath the tarp. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty heavy snow. So we're gonna try to cook here and uh, eat again. Hopefully not burn the food. We're letting this fire burn down quite a bit here. So it's not a thousand degrees this time. It's pretty sweet. A little safe area in the middle of the woods. Get dark, animals are coming out. We got some steak out here for them. It's nice and toasty under this little shelter here. Big difference, oh so warm under here love it can't wait till the snow starts coming down keep going Ooh, smell that careful you got a lighter there you go you should not have to worry about that lighting on fire yeah fire pit's probably good now that's like perfect This is going to be like a ratatouille but i'm adding eggplant and then i had some bell pepper that i added to it so it's kind of going to be like that but we're going to add the marinara <laughs> making sure the animals come over here tonight <laughs> they're gonna wreck you up dude it's dark now oh yeah it is dark now. We're just in this random little spot of light. One and a half pounds of Fully seasoned. Fully cooked. We've got nothing to worry just, about. Yeah, we're just heating it up. Oh, yeah. That ain't nice. That ain't nice. That ain't nice. Let me give him a flip. Let me give him a flip. <laughs> that ain't going to take long, boy. There we go. Let those chips in a little bit. Look at the hole. <laughs> that was funny. Look that was funny. Show him when he's got to go to the bathroom. That's right, dude. Little hole pops out. <laughs> it's hot enough. I tore off a little rib. Ooh. Volcano. Oh, thanks, bro. There she be. Finger food. Finger food. Finger licking good. <sighs> I gotta get cleaned up. <laughs> Guys, I gotta get cleaned up here. I am a mess. Clean it up. Clean it up, dude. There's my mouth right there. Hey. We'll be careful. That's right at the edge. Look at that. Ooh, out in the middle of the woods. It's getting cold now. Try it, it's pretty good. Okay, let me get some more moldy firewood. Moldy firewood is the best firewood. Watch your hand, bro. Woo! It's gonna be a slat, dude. My chair. There you go. Time to get some heat underneath this thing. It's smoking majorly right now. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. Otherwise, bye-bye tarp. Look at this smoke, guys. Look at that smoke. Look how dark it is out here. Completely dark. But we got our safe shelter. Can't wait till that smoke dies down a little bit there. We're gonna have to put some of this stuff away because the snow is uh, supposedly coming here. So. so my Pecron is still at 88%. I've been running this all day. I got the fridge and freezer going. I don't even need the freezer going, but I'm just testing it out. This is kind of just a pre-run. So obviously I'm not conserving power. It says 79 and a half hours at the current watt pullage. And this also has like a wireless charger on top, which is kind of cool. But this is actually a tiny bit smaller than my Van Powers one. And it actually has a thousand some more watts let's go see what joel's doing over here look at that setup he's got a nice tent looks cozy yeah look at that tent stick your head in there it's nice and warm dude he's got his cool lights going look at this that's my celsius if i want it later nice and then stick your head in the pit oh this is sweet oh yeah 
Oh, she's cozy in here. Look at his nice little setup. I'm loving it. Here's our nice little light setup. Got our fire and our heat under there. Come on, snow, let's go. I'm just gonna have a little bit. Uh, there we go. Oh. It got stuck for a second. <laughs> Bloop. They're nice. Throw it in. Throw it in here. You got a light Whoop. on there. It just explodes. Oh, that'd be bad. Joel saved the day. I want to stay up late so we can have some lightsaber battles and all that in the snow and go some walking. And he literally grabbed my favorite one. This is my favorite one. Thanks, bro. No problem, bro. Crack it on film. Oh, yeah. Right by the fire. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, he's trying to have a massive fire. It's snowing, dude. You see it? It's snowing. It's finally snowing. Oh, that's oh, definitely ashes. <laughs> Should I grow my hair longer, dude? Uh, Should I grow it out longer, dude? They look good. You know what? You know what somebody said to me? What? <laughs> Are you zooming in on me? Yeah. What? Uh. Ooh, that's nice and warm on my beard. <laughs> hey, you want to play around with those lightsabers, buddy? Yeah. Can I be the Jedi this time, please? Sure. Okay, you can be the Sith. You're bad. You're a bad mother trucker. What the heck? So here's my Jablet Pro 2. Oh my gosh, look down there, bro. How bright it is. Oh my God. Dude, that's so far away. <laughs> wow, look at this, guys. That is so far away. Look at this beam. Look at this beam. I'm very impressed so far. Like, that's insane. It's got a couple settings. That's the highest. So you can see there's are four power bars. Four power bars right there that's... Oh, yeah, it is on. There's the second setting, third setting, and there's the brightest setting. Yes, yeah, so we'll be using this in a couple minutes when we go for our walk. But I figured I'd show you before that snow starts falling. Look how bright. I can see everything down there. And that's got to be, it's got to be 100 yards at least down there. I think you just hold it down to turn it off. Boop. And I think if you press and hold, it'll turn it back onto the last setting you had it on. So, yeah, this Javelet Pro 2 comes with this nice case here. And then it also has the pouch. You can obviously put on your belt here. I'll be putting this on. So it's a really big case. So it has like a magnet thing on it. It has this magnetic thing that just magnetizes That's on the cool. bottom. You plug it into a USB and it'll charge. I think you can get an extra because this is the battery, this back part. You can get like a different part if you want it to obviously last longer. So there's the Javelet Pro 2 way down there. Look at Joel. I can see super good. There's the white laser. I'm actually more impressed with this uh, Javelet Pro 2 than my white uh, white laser Phoenix flashlight. Look at that. Look at Joel. Bro, look at me, dude. <laughs> look at me, bro. All right, guys, we're gonna try out my uh, Seeker 3 Pro. See how this is. I don't even know how to turn it on, dude. Oh, oh God. I can't yeah. even see anymore, bro. <laughs> yeah, so this is more of a floodlight. Yeah, that's sick. So this is a floodlight. What is that down there, dude? Look. Oh, what is that? Is that a reflection? Oh, it must be a reflection of the glass. Yeah, that's really bright. It's more of a flood, obviously. It's not going to be like pinpoint. But this is really bright. This is 4200 lumens. This Seeker Pro 3. It's got this knob. Watch, I can dim it. See it dimming as you spin it on there. Wow, it can dim a lot. That's if you want to fine tune it. Otherwise, you can obviously just press the button. So if you double click it, it'll go on high. Turbo. If you press it once, it'll turn off. I am your daddy. No! That's impossible! You're not my daddy! Daddy. Yes, I am. <laughs> Didn't you go, yes, I am? <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Look at that beautiful oh, snow. God. Here it comes. Finally. Jill just threw all the rest of the logs on there. So hopefully this uh, wind doesn't push that tarp down. He's like, oh, it'll be fine. I'll find out here in a minute. Poor tarp, dude. It's been a good tarp. It's been a good tarp. 
Rest in peace. Oh, it's about to get wrecked. Yeah, this thing's pretty sweet though. I like it. You can put quite a bit of wood in there. Got quite a bit of wood over here. Uh. <laughs> it's super bright. I am super impressed with this Jablet Pro 2. <laughs> Bro, are you sure you want it, dude? Yeah, these things are no joke. These are super bright flashlights. I am extremely impressed. We got these uh, glow costumes. I've had these for a long time, so me and Jill are gonna try these on. I don't know if we can dance to any music without it being copyrighted, but let's try. Joel did a little dancing and now he's gonna throw up. A little cardio and the, and the pukes coming, dude. Ugh. He took his shirt off for a second. Oh yeah, that's too much. The dude, winter in the woods. <laughs> you really gotta throw up? Yeah, it's already coming up. That's how, that's how it goes, dude. A little cardio, a little throw up. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Well guys, uh, we have glow sticks everywhere, so now we gotta pick all these up. We wanted to do a little dance with uh, those suits on, but there's way too much to it, and we don't got time for all that. Like there's tons of these little pieces, like all these connection pieces, and you gotta like glue them to you and stuff, or tape them. I'm like, uh, it'll take forever to try to figure that out. So we pick these up and go for a night walk. We got a trail that leads out to the main trail. I don't know if we'll be able to see any eyes with uh, all this snow glistening. But we'll give her a shot. It's crazy this little guy is this bright. Little guy. If you guys want to get these flashlights, I'll have a link in the description. I think they gave me like a 10% off coupon. Here's Joel's new flashlight. What do they rate that? 5,000 lumens? Like 5,000 lumens. Or there's the pinpoint. Now spread it out. Okay, so there's Joel's 5,000s. Turn yours off now. Yeah, that's definitely brighter. What is yours? 4,200. Whoa, what am I seeing? A reflection of something. This Javelet Pro 2 one is by far my favorite out of them. Wow, dude, I can see so good down there. That's crazy. Snow's starting to come down a little bit heavier. Yeah, this one's insanely bright. This one is insane. Got a little shelter right there. Somebody built that. You excited to be in your cozy little tent? Band's getting covered. By morning, that thing's probably be buried. Gotta turn off these lights here. It's kind of cool as this thing has like a safety watch when I get close, see so it dims. I wish my uh, Phoenix one had that because it like burned my sleeping bag, hole in my sleeping bag because I got it too close. Let's go check on Joel quick. What are you doing? The cozy dude. Thing looks massive. Negative 35, huh? Yeah, my uh... My lower extremities are nice and warm. Watching naked. TikTok and going to sleep? We're going to get naked and watch TikTok. Ugh. We don't need to do all that. Let's go back and get in a safe, warm van. Oh, yeah. Let's get in here. Shut it. Lock it. Pecron's pretty sweet. I'll be showing you guys more of that soon. I'm gonna take my boots off here, clean up a little bit, and probably have uh, another sandwich. Time to grab mother's sandwich because I am hungry. I'm gonna eat this slices of turkey breast and Swiss cheese on cranberry wild rice bread. Wow, that's a lot of words. Gonna try her out. Pretty good. The bread's a little weird, but still pretty good. Another thing that I love about this uh, cell booster thing, besides the fact that obviously it gives me faster internet and better cell service, it's like that puck thing. It like radiates the uh, signal inside the van. So when I have these window shades on normally and I'm inside my van, I get like no service. So I have to take these off and put my phone like right next to the window to get any service. But now I don't need to do that because that thing 
amplifies the signal inside of my van. So it's these these don't block the signal at all anymore. So it's kind of cool. Oh, looks like we're gonna get buried in snow tonight. So uh we'll see how she looks when we wake up, but I'm going to bed, guys. morning guys so just having this everyday dose not sponsored by it or anything i've just been having this for like about a month or so it's like mushrooms and it's just supposed to be like healthier for your guts and your body and there's just stuff in it that's just good for you so um, instead of having just regular coffee which i've been having for years and years and years i'm trying to kind of switch it up just having it in my uh, safe in the van cup right now and uh definitely snowed quite a bit yesterday there's a lot on the trees i'll be out there and show you guys here in a second Let's go have coffee in the snow. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's coming down pretty good. Oh my gosh, look at the tarp. Our tarp is destroyed. Too much weight. Joel's in his cozy little tent over there. Can tell nobody's been down here. Well, I tried. Nobody out here but me and Joel. This is amazing. You wake, buddy? What is that? <laughs> You awake? Uh -huh. Just negative 35 degree bag safe. Did you stay nice and warm last night? Yep. You probably weren't cold at all, were you? No. Nope. Your tent's a little bit shallower now. Nope. That yeah, crap off. Well, I'm basically all packed up. I just got to put my table away, but Joel's stuff's on it. And we got to put that fire pit I'm giving to him. They sent me that fire pit, by the way. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Make sure we pack out all the garbage. All right, cut her down. That ain't a knife. This is a knife. That's definitely oh, a knife. I've seen you played knifey spoony before. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, Joel stayed nice and warm. He didn't even have his heater on last night. He just uh, had his negative 35 degree sleeping bag. Look at that big cozy thing. So next time we uh, use his tent, we'll have to set it up. Even real, better. Real but. Good. All right, bro. Well, I'm going to head out of here then. Okay, I'll see you later, bro. And I'll see you later. Until our next adventure. Peace.